babies, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the life of a Karen. Also, this is just a role play and I'm definitely not a Karen in real life and I would never act like this and neither should you. Push Karen, push! <gasps> it's a beautiful girl! Here you go! Ew! Gross! Get it away from me! It's so slimy! Oh, okay. I'll sue you! <gasps> My daughter's first words are I'll sue you! Wow, she is just like her mother! You know, I think I'm gonna name her after myself! <gasps> Karen Jr. Uh, oh wow! How original! Huh? What did you just say? I'll sue you! Oh, nothing! Uh, Karen's a great name! Hmm! <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, Terry, now get me out of this silly place. This stupid bed is giving me lower back pains. Ugh, I think I need a wheelchair. Oh, uh, sorry, Karen, but we're short on wheelchairs right now. And we don't have any at the moment. This is ridiculous! Hey, you! Who, me? Yeah, you. I need that wheelchair right now. I just gave birth. But, ma'am, I just got into a terrible car accident and I can't walk. Oh, it's all about you, isn't it? I guess not, ma'am. Uh, sure. Here you go. You can have it. All right, Terry, carry me and my baby over there. Yeah, whatever you say, Karen. Uh, all right, Terry, come on. Let's get out of here. Brookhaven Diner, how may I help you? Hi, I'm calling to inquire how old my kid has to be to eat for free at your restaurant. Your child has to be four or under to eat here for free. Are you sure? Because the last time I was there, it was five and under. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm sure I work here, so I would know it's always been four and under. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. My child is four years old anyways. Okay, then. Goodbye. All right, Karen. We are going to a restaurant tonight. And if the waitress asks how old you are, you tell them you're four, okay? But, Mom, I'm five. I know, honey, but sometimes to get things to go our way in life, we have to twist the truth just a time bit. So uh, let's try this over again. How old are you, Karen? Oh, okay. I'm four. That's better. Now, come on. Let's go. All right, Karen. We're here. Let's go. Welcome to Brooks Diner, guys. Table for two. I believe my daughter gets to eat here for free. Oh, hi there, little girl. How old are you? I'm four, which means I get to eat at your establishment for free. How was that, Mom? Good job, Karen. Hmm, you look pretty big for a four-year-old. Excuse me? Are you discriminating the age of my child? That is age discrimination. You could go to prison. Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not trying to discriminate. I was just asking a question. Anyways, uh, let me show you two to your seats. Come this way. Is this table okay for you guys? Sure, whatever. It works. Can I start you guys off with anything to drink? Yes, give me a coffee. Mmm, I'll have chocolate milk. One coffee and chocolate milk coming up. Here's your coffee, ma'am. Ah, this coffee is boiling hot! Why did you not warn me? Um, ma'am, it's coffee. It's supposed to be hot. Did you just talk back to me? Don't worry, Mommy. I'm gonna give her a one-star review on Yelp right now. That's my baby girl. Uh, okay. Anyways, what can I get you guys to eat? Give me a pizza. I'll have burger and fries extra crispy. All right, uh, coming up. So we have the pizza for you and burger and fries for you. Anything else for you two? No, no, leave us alone. We'll call you when we need you. Okay, then. Um, nom, 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 nom. Ew, mom, there's a hair in my burger. What? Excuse me, waitress. Come right here immediately. What seems to be the problem? There is a hair in my daughter's burger. I demand you to give us a refund right this instant. Yeah, look at it. I'm pretty sure this is your daughter's hair in it. <gasps> Are you calling my daughter a liar? My daughter is many things, but a liar she is not. Don't worry, Mom. I got this one. Can I speak to your manager? My manager's actually not here right now. That's it. Mom, we're leaving and we are not paying. Ugh, what a Karen. The next day. Okay, Karen, let's go to daycare. Yes, I love daycare. Hello? Is anyone gonna help me? Someone help my mom before she gets angry because you do not want to see what it's like when she's angry. It's about darn time. Hi there. Sorry, I was just dealing with 
some kids in the back. Did I ask for your sob story? Uh, no, I guess you didn't. Um, you can just sign your daughter in right over here. Uh, and don't tell me what to do ever again. Okay, where do I send my daughter in? Lady, I just said right over here. Ugh, you're so rude. Is this how you treat all your customers? Anyways, my daughter Karen over here needs her nap time at 1 p.m. sharp. She likes her apples sliced, not diced, with no skin. And for the love of gosh, can you turn the temperature down in this place? It's like a sauna in here. Do you want my daughter to get hypothermia? Yeah. Uh, lady, hypothermia is when you're too cold, not too hot, ma'am. Did you just hook back to my mom? That's it, mom. We're leaving and you just lost our business. You're a disgrace. All right, class, I think we will just do the worksheet today because I don't have a lesson plan. Oh, Mr. Teacher Man, sir, last week you told us we were having a test on human anatomy for today. Is that still happening? Because I've been studying like all week for it and I don't want my studies to go to waste. Wow, thanks for reminding me, Karen. I almost forgot. Yeah, no problem. I hope all of you guys studied for it. Karen, you suck. Ugh, what the heck, Karen? What? It was in our planners. All right, class, I'm gonna come around and pass out the tests. You have one hour to complete it. Good luck. Okay, here we go. A, B, B, A, A, C, A. Psst, Sarah, what did you get for question three? Psst, Lucy, the answer is D. Teacher, there's two people in the back whispering about the answers on the test. <gasps> there will be no cheating in this classroom on my watch. Lucy and Sarah, you both get zeros. Go to the principal's office right now. Ugh, tattletale. Ugh, Karen. Ooh, it's hall monitor time. All right, let's make sure all the halls are nice and safe for everyone. Um, excuse me, but according to section 13 of the Brookhaven Student Handbook, it clearly states that you could not wear a skirt shorter than eight inches or have it be shorter than the length of your fingertips. But my parents let me wear this today. Sorry, I don't make up the rules. I only enforce them. Here's a detention slip. All right, have a great day. Ugh, you're such a Karen. Sorry, what was that? Haha, <laughs> no. That's what I thought. Hey, Mom, I'm home from school. Karen, I have a surprise I've been dying to give to you. I think you are finally ready for it. Well, Mom, I love surprises. What is it? Come on, I'll tell you when we're there. Moments later. We're here, Karen. What are we doing at the salon, Mom? Well, Karen, you know how you've always asked if you could get my hair cut and I've always said not yet? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because this haircut is a very special haircut. It's been passed down to my family from generation to generation. And I think you're ready and mature enough to deserve this haircut. Oh my gosh, Mom, are you serious? This is the best day of my life. Yes, honey, come on, let's go in. Oh boy, my current senses are tingling right now. Hi there, my daughter would like a new hairdo. Let me guess, bleach it all and give her a bob cut? Huh? How did you know? Are you stalking me? Lucky guess is all. <laughs> well, are you just gonna stand there? Go give her her haircut. Uh, okay, come with me, little girl. This is gonna be the best ever! Okay, okay, make me look just like my mom. All right, how do you like it? Oh my gosh, I love it, mom, come look. OMG! Someone call the fire department because this girl looks smoking. You look just like me. All right, how about you two take your Karen party somewhere else? That'll be $10, please. Um, I've never had to pay for this before. My family has been coming here for decades. Uh, well, I don't know who you went to last time, but I'm not working for free, so pay up. Well, this must be a new policy that I was unaware of. And since you didn't tell me about this new policy when I came here, sorry, honey, but I will not be paying. Come on, Karen, let's go. Another day, another Karen. Why do I even bother? Ugh, there's these meddling kids skateboarding out front of my house. <gasps> oh my gosh, did she just scratch my car? That's it, I'm going out there. Hey, kid, did you just scratch my car? How could you do that? I didn't even touch it. Karen alert, Karen alert. Don't worry, I'm filming. Do you even know how much this car costs? Ma'am, there's nothing even there. Take a chill pill, Karen. Unless you want to go viral on the internet. <laughs> All right, what's your name? And show me your ID. And you, stop filming me. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? I'm going to film 
love you too. Ha, how do you like it? Um, I don't care. We aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, uh, where do you live? I am calling the cops right now. Don't move. Hello, 911. These two girls keep harassing me and they keep driving their skateboards into my car. Don't listen to that psycho lady. That's not what happened. Get here now before these rascals get away. Ah, perfect. He's here. You two rascals are going to get thrown right into jail. Hello, ma'am. Are these two girls harassing you? Yes, they are harassing me and scratching my car, so arrest them. Uh, Mr. Police Officer Man, this woman is psycho. We didn't do anything. We were just skateboarding around. And then she came out and started yelling at us like a Karen. Hey, how did you know my name? Oh my gosh, that's your name? You Karens really make it easy for us. <laughs> Officer, are you going to trust these two hooligans or a tax paying law abiding citizen like myself? Officer, you don't have to trust our word. I filmed the whole thing on my phone. Oh yeah? Well, I filmed the whole thing too. Okay, okay, ladies, please calm down. The volume right now is astronomical. You all need to relax. Let me take a look. Here you go, officer. Oh no. Oh dear. This is more serious than I thought. All right, I've seen enough. You are under arrest. Ha! Take that hooligans. Yes, take them to prison where they belong. Huh? What's happening? What do you think you're doing? Well, after reviewing the footage, it's clear to me that you were actually the one doing the harassing. I'm gonna have to take you to prison. Are you kidding me right now? This is ridiculous. Do you even know who I am? I can get you fired. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge. Ha! Have fun in prison, Karen. All right, let's see what's on the news for today. I have just received word from the mayor that there is a new virus spreading around the town of Brookhaven. Doctors say that this virus is very contagious. The mayor is ordering that all citizens must wear masks in public places at all times. Anyone found in violation of these rules will be fined. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Oh, those sheep will just keep following and listening to everyone. This pandemic is probably made up and it's just a conspiracy. If they think I'm gonna be wearing a mask, they are crazy. Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna go get some groceries. All right, let's see what I need today. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Sorry to bother you, but I've gotta ask you to put a mask on to shop in the store. Um, excuse me? I have a medical condition and I cannot be wearing a mask. Sorry, ma'am. I do not make the rules. I'm just following company guidelines. You have to put a mask on or you could not be in here. I am an American citizen and this is discrimination. Uh, ma'am, I am not discriminating you. These rules apply to everyone that comes in, not just you. <coughs> How do you like that, huh? Stop, stop. Please stop coughing on me. I'm gonna have to call the police. Ugh, you don't have to because I've already called the cops on you. Ugh, this is so stupid. Everyone around here is absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> Did you just cough on me? Do you know how disgusting and disrespectful that is? I'm so sorry, ma'am. My bad. <coughs> Ugh, people these days are just so inconsiderate. Karen, the test results are in. Unfortunately, they have come back positive. You have the virus. Let me just ask, did you wear your mask at all times? Mask? You will never see me in a mask. I make my own rules. Well, ma'am, you're gonna die tomorrow. If you just listened to the doctors and scientists and wore your mask, you would still be alive. Ugh, these Karens never learn. <laughs> Guys so much for watching make sure to comment down below which brookhaven role-playing videos you guys want to see me do next and congratulations to princess joanna for being our post notification winner if you guys want to be our next post notification winner all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment on when you're done and always make sure to like comment subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you get alert every time i upload a new video and remember guys always be a unicorn bye